Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyandra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can highlight conjugative duplicate in a selected range using conditional formatting. So let's say here I have data wherein I have month wise sales. You can see here I have duplicate month names available. So I want to highlight the month if it is coming in consecutive way. For example, October is here and the 2nd October is here, then it should be highlighted because it is coming just after the previous one. All right. So what we can do, we can use a conditional formatting here. So I will select this range and I'll go to the home and conditional formatting. And here I can go to the new rule. Now here I will go to the use a formula to determine which cell to format and here we will use the formula to highlight the consecutive duplicate. First of all, I would like to tell you in the formula, we need to put a logical formula which should return true or false only. Whenever your formula will return true, then that particular cell will be highlighted. If the formula will return false, then it will not be highlighted. So I'll show you first of all in the Excel how this formula will work. So we will put our formula here or then we will use a2 equal to a1 comma logic 2 we will put a2 equal to a3 and now we will fill this formula down. Wherever it will return true that will be highlighted you can see this October is just coming in consecutive way so it is coming true this is false because it is fab now this is not the fab so it is coming false if I will put here fab then it will be true you can see all right so once it will be true then it will be highlighted using the conditional formatting so this formula will work in conditional formatting like this so we can copy this formula now we can remove this one select this and you can go to the new rule from here or you can use the shortcut key alt od to open the conditional formatting rule manager and here you can click on new rule now click on use a formula to determine which cell to format and we can simply paste this formula here all right make sure your active cell should be a2 because we are using here a2 equal to a1 and a2 equal to a3 right now we'll go to the format here we can give any background color let's say i'm just giving this one okay click on okay and just click on apply you can see the consecutive duplicates have been highlighted even fab is coming here but it is not being highlighted it is not just highlighting the duplicates value it is highlighting only the value which is consecutive duplicate because fab is here this is also fab but this was not highlighted Similarly, you can see this September is highlighted, July and March. If I will put here again March, then you can see it is also highlighted because these are three consecutive now. All right. Now I'll show you one more example. Let's say here I'm putting fruits name. All right. So randomly I can put here, let's say three fruits name to put the random value. You can manually enter the values or you can use my tool pk's utility tool version 1.0 and here i have given this thing which is fill random values you can select the values from excel or you can directly input the value so i'm just going to input the value manually so i'll click on no and let's say here i'm putting apple banana and mango so randomly it will distribute these three in this selection click on ok now we want to highlight the consecutive duplicate here we can use the same formula i'll tell you one more trick here you can use the pk's utility tool version 1.0 to highlight the consecutive duplicates it is free available download link has been given in the video's description box just go to my website download this add-in you can improve your productivity using this so here i have given this option in the selection group which is highlight consecutive duplicate you can just click on this you can see in the selection consecutive duplicate have been highlighted automatically all right if i will put here let's say apple then this will not be highlighted because this is not the consecutive duplicate now 
Now I'll tell you where you can use this. I'll tell you a huge case here. Let me go to the seat two. Here you can see I have employee wise attendant. I want to highlight the week off wherein the week off is consecutive. So you can see this is the week off is coming first week off and second week off. And here the three week offs are coming together. This is again two week offs. So wherever the week offs are coming together, two or more than two week offs, then it should be highlighted. It is many times required while creating the roster. All right, so when you want to see the name of the employees who are taking the consecutive week offs. So how can you highlight the consecutive week offs here? I'll tell you using the formula. So I have put the conditional formatting here. Let me remove this conditional formatting first. I'll tell you from the starting. So I'll use Alt O D and N. New formatting rule window will be open. Here I'll go to the use a formula to determine which cell to format. And again, here I'll put the same formula. So my active cell is V2. Now I want to put this formula in horizontal way. So I will put here or V2 equal to A2, comma b2 equal to c2 all right now you can give some format color let's say i'm just giving background color this one if you will click ok then what will happen i'll show you so it is highlighting the conjugative duplicates horizontally but it is highlighting all the attendance scores like for absent for present it is highlighting all the things i want to highlight only v calls so what can i do i can edit this rule press alt od select edit rule and we can put another formula which will be the end formula and so first logic will be this one and the second logic we can put b2 is equal to b cof so first logic it should be a consecutive duplicate second logic we have put it should be only v cof just click on ok you can see only v cops are being highlighted so friends that is how you can use this conditional formatting to highlight the consecutive duplicates you can highlight whatever text you want to highlight using this trick i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching